The Ram Promaster and Mercedes-Benz Sprinter are extremely popular last mile fleet vehicles used today by many delivery companies. Last mile refers to the fact that these vehicles are the last ones used to deliver goods to customers and businesses and are typically smaller and more nimble than a semi-truck. These vehicles see most of their day in the city with lots of stop and go driving. So it's no surprise that the most commonly replaced part on these vehicles are the brake pads. On most vehicles, noise will be the determining factor when the brake pads need replaced. A squealing or grinding noise may be heard alerting the driver that it's time for a brake inspection. However, on many of these fleet vehicles, a brake warning lamp illuminated on the dash will alert the driver that the brakes are getting to the end of their service life. Brake pad sensors have been around for over 40 years, so their existence is nothing new. Most systems only warn of low brake pad material, while some newer systems are using a two-stage sensor that can actually estimate how many miles a brake pad has left. The system on the ProMaster and Sprinter vans uses a four-wheel brake pad sensor setup to monitor all four corners of the brakes. Some vehicles may only use one in the front and one in the opposite rear corner. The four-wheel system uses reference voltages supplied to the sensor from the body control module, or BCM. Once the brake pad wears down past a certain point, the rotor will start to rub against the sensor. Eventually, it will break the sensor and the reference voltage back to the module will be zero volts, indicating an open circuit. The zero volts seen by the module will be bust over the CAN network to the instrument cluster, which will illuminate the brake warning lamp, alerting the driver that there is a problem with the brake system. When servicing these systems, it will be necessary to replace a sensor if it has contacted the rotor. Usually the brake pad sensors will be included with the replacement brake pad set, ensuring that you can get the job done correctly without having to turn to the parts department again. You will also want to inspect the wiring and the connector as well. Verify there is no damage to either component and check for the presence of corrosion inside the connector. These connections should be watertight and the presence of corrosion could indicate a poor connection. Corrosion can cause excessive resistance in the circuit which could cause the brake warning lamp to illuminate erroneously. If you find any issues with the connector or wiring, make sure to repair it to ensure proper operation of the brake warning system. I'm Joe Keen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.